Hey folks, I'm Tim Jenis. I am the timpanist of the Boston Symphony and I am going to talk about the timpani grip and how to hold the stick. I'll have a series of videos for the next week since uh, we are all relegated to our homes and I will show you how to hold the stick and then you will be able to play the timpani just like me. All right. So when holding the timpani stick you want to make sure that you're in the right balance point. If you hold the stick too far this way, it's not going to really have any weight on this end. You need some weight to throw down to the head. If you hold it too far at the end of the stick, like here, it's not going to bounce. It's going to, it's going to die really quickly. So here, much. Here, The correct spot is going to be about your thumb and your index, uh, your, where your fulcrum is, where you hold the stick, where the stick pivots. It's going to be probably around four inches from the end. So you'll see about that much coming off of the edge of your hand. So what you want to do is find that balance point, and uh, once you have that, you want to put the stick in what I do is I put it on the last joint of my third finger and then I put my thumb so that the pivot is between those two fingers. Okay? The index finger then curves around and just adds a little bit of support. So the stick moves this way, right? Um, the back fingers, all these fingers, we don't want to squeeze the stick so that we're holding it this way. That way the stick doesn't, can't move in the hand. So we want to back off those fingers and allow the stick to move. So if you get the thumb and the index finger just right, when you open your fingers, the stick will sort of pop up on its own without you, I'm not lifting my wrist at all, I'm just opening my fingers and the stick kind of comes up. So that way when we play, it's always in the up position and we can throw it down and it helps to pop it back up. Um, having a good weighted stick uh, helps as well. If the stick is too light or too heavy, it can turn on that. So um, uh, the sticks that I make are weighted in such a way that the balance is, um, works for the player. So um, we open our hand, we allow the stick to pivot in this way. And then at that point, when you're actually um, hitting the drum, um, you want to hit the drum about mm, two or three inches from the rim, from the very edge right here. If you hit it too far in the middle, it's a little thuddy sounding. If you hit it too far in the edge, there's really kind of a uh, transparent uh, thin sound, but right in the sweet spot, it's a nice sound. So um, as far as get the balance point, Get the grip, open the fingers, and at that point, all you're going to do is throw the weight of this part of the mallet. You're going to throw it through the head, right? You're going to let the head shoot it back up as much as you can. Not this. So I'm just talking about a general stroke here. Generally, we want to allow the stick to rebound. We want to firm up the sound, we can firm up our grip a little bit. It's a little bit more of a, a sharper sound. Um, and if we want to loosen it up, we, we loosen the grip. Get a little bit more of the bigger muscles. Smaller muscles are faster. Bigger muscles are slower. Okay? But basically, this is just about the grip. So if anything, you want to just make sure that you're allowing the stick to breathe back here. Okay? You don't want to squeeze the stick and, and choke it off. And that's all there is to it. That's the timpani grip. Thanks. So after we've gotten our grip and we are standing about a foot away from the drum, 
Um, the actual stroke is done the same way as if we were throwing a baseball or bouncing a basketball. We're going to throw the weight down to the floor, and the weight in this case is the um, mallet head. And so we're going to think of that as the ball. So we're going to take that and have our nice open grip, and we're going to lead with the arm and let everything else follow. You notice that I'm not stopping the stick and lifting it. Which is a timpani stroke, by the way, but um, for our purposes, it's best to sort of realize that we want to let the stick rebound in the early stages when we're learning. So it's just like bouncing a basketball. Now you can use bigger muscles to slow down the stroke and get a more legato sound. And if we use faster muscles like the wrist, a little bit of a sharper sound, a little more staccato. So we have. articulation a little bit on the timpani, okay? Um, we want to try to hit the drum around two inches from the rim. And generally, you want to hit the same spot. You never want to play in the middle, or else we get that kind of sound. And on the rim, it's a little bit thin, so about two inches away. The faster we go, the smaller the muscles. Right? We want to get a little bit more rounder sound. A little more of the bigger muscles. That's all there is to it. So when moving from drum to drum, we want to use our nice stroke that we've been taught and with our grip. And basically, uh, when you're setting up to four drums, which is the typical setup for timpani, um, you're going to face your body um, uh, in the center or of the two middle drums. Um, and then when we want to play these other drums, we're basically turning our body like we're turning around a barrel. Okay. Um, we don't want to have to move forward or backwards. We want to keep our feet sort of planted if we're standing. Uh, you can also sit in front of the timpani, which we can cover in another video. Um, but for now, we'll just talk about standing. Um, and uh, when we're using that stroke uh, and going from drum to drum, we basically want to just move our arms this way, like so. I'll just do it with the, uh, these two drums. Middle drums. We want to make sure we hit that nice beating spot two or three inches from the uh, rim, right? Not too far in the center, not too far on the edge. Nice, even strokes, right? So, uh, and uh, a good exercise to get used to that is to just do what we just what I just did is a triplet exercise, three notes on each drum. You can do it on any of the drums. Low drum. Right? So, um, as we get better, we can increase the speed. want to go to the other drums now, a good exercise maybe is to um, play the same exercise, but when we want to keep going in the same direction, we play two strokes instead of three. So if I started on this drum, I would uh, start with my left, play three strokes, 
then play two and three. And then that would reverse the direction. So it's three, two, three, two, three. So three, two, three, two, three, two. Right? And then as we, if we kept going, we, you just add two strokes just to keep going in the same direction. So if we can go three, two, two, three, if we want to play on all four drums. So I'll start up here with three strokes, starting on the right. You can start to just mix up the strokes. You can play threes going from drum to drum. You can add two to go to another drum uh, and so forth. So we have, uh, start here. better you can speed it up a little bit. That's all there is to it. See ya!